Hey folks, I'm Aslin Lindlow from lindsfood.com. Over here is the link to my other YouTube channel, AZ Entertainment. You'll find all my live cooking shows done by G Plus Hangouts on Air. Over there, we've got Savor the Flavor, um, Fun Fabulous Food Down Under, and Simply Singapore. Check it out. Today, I'm going to be doing a very quick and easy recipe with you, perfect for midweek dinner. In fact, we love it because it's quick and easy. It's risotto with pesto and salmon. Um, so, risotto, which means we need risotto rice, um, some butter, some olive oil, some onions, chopped up onions, and um, some chopped up salmon pieces as well. These are plain. I, um, you could try using lightly smoked salmon, but personally, I, I, I like to keep it simple because of the strong taste of pesto. And um, what have we got here? Oh yes, some shaved uh, parmesan, some uh, freshly grated parmesan, and we've got some spinach for some color. Um, baby spinach would be perfect for this. You could also use peas. Um, a little bit of wine and some gently simmering away fish stock and um, some lemon juice for the end. That's it, easy peasy. We've got this um, pan nicely warmed up under medium heat and we're going to add our butter. Um, you'll find the full recipe as usual on linsfood.com. The link is just there to the recipe itself. About 30 grams of butter. We're going to leave a little bit for later after it's cooked. Now we're going to quickly add some olive oil to this to um, reduce the heating point because otherwise your butter is going to brown and we don't really want that. So there we go. Foaming away. Lowering it down ever so slightly. Now we're going to add the onions in very quickly and we're going to saute the onions. Hmm, smelling good already. Okay, so the onions have had um, about a minute. Now we're going to add the rice and we're going to coat that, coat the rice with all that delicious oniony fat. Just about 30 seconds will suffice. Now at this stage, we're going to add some sort of liquid to the rice. Okay, now this risotto that we're making is um, the, the, the first step to making this risotto is making your basic risotto, which is you know called risotto bianco, which is white risotto. Essentially, it's got all the ingredients I've put in so far, a bit of white wine, salt and pepper, and some parmesan cheese. That's it. That's your basic standard risotto. From that, you can build up your flavors. In this instance, we're adding some salmon. Uh, for this particular recipe, you can use any seafood you want. Scallops, prawns, um, perfect, really. So, with your basic risotto, risotto bianco, you can build up to anything, as he said, as, as I said earlier. Now, in goes a little bit of wine. And very quickly, this is the stage where a lot of um, time comes in when cooking your risotto. Very quickly, we're going to add two ladles of stock and we're going to be stirring this. Stir the risotto until your stock is almost um, gone, absorbed, and then we'll add another two ladlefuls of stock and we keep doing this for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, as I said, full recipe, set of instructions, everything on linsfood.com. So we keep doing this. There you go. That first addition of stock has been absorbed. So another two ladles. Now I like to keep stirring my risotto. I know, I know, it, it seems like a bit of hard work. You don't have to keep stirring it all the time. Um, but I find that when I keep stirring the risotto, the end result is, you know, that much creamier. So we're going to keep doing this, two ladles, two ladles, two ladles, and until we get to the end, with say about two to three ladles spare, we're going to leave that, then we're going to add everything else that needs to come into um, the risotto itself. Okay, so we've just added, uh, I've just added another 
couple of um, barrelfuls of stock, and I've just got about a little full or two there. Ooh, I hope it stays. I think we'll just leave it there, so it has been simmering away. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to add the pieces of salmon in there. And we're going to stir that along to cook the salmon. How much salmon you use, I suppose at the end of the day, it really does depend on you. We're also going to add the spinach, bearing in mind that the spinach is going to release moisture into the risotto. Um, not that much that it should bother the consistency, it should affect the consistency of the uh, risotto itself. As I was saying, I even interrupt myself these days, wow. Um, as I was saying, how much salmon you use uh, really does depend on your taste. Um, likewise, the risotto. I give you exact measurements on the recipe itself, linsfood.com. Link is over here. Um, but, you know, if you want to up the, uh, the, I think I might have said risotto. If you want to up the pesto um, content or the salmon content, that's completely up to you. There we go. Now, this is virtually done. Your salmon is practically cooked through, just a little bit of pink here and there, which is perfectly fine because we are going to let this rest. Now, so it's all done. So we're going to add that last little bit. If we think, if you think that your risotto needs a little bit more liquid, we're going to add that last little bit. We've been cooking away for about 20 minutes now. Mm, almost perfect. So we're going to add the last um, ladle full. I think a ladle full will suffice. And same thing. We are now going to keep stirring this. There we are. Now if you think your risotto is beginning to catch, as mine is here, I'm just going to turn that heat ever so slightly down. We're going to keep doing this until the liquid is um, absorbed, just to that right consistency where it, the risotto will still be wet, but it would have absorbed most of the liquid because risotto is meant to be a little bit on the wet side. Now, as I said right at the start, the basic risotto is the base for anything else you want to cook. Um, so I've added salmon here and some spinach. Um, so the basic risotto would be what I've done with Parmesan cheese. That would be it. That's all that's needed. And it is a meal in itself. It's delicious. Um, you don't really need to be adding anything else, but you can add mushrooms. Um, you know, it, it really is open to so many interpretations. There we go. So at this stage, we're going to be, we're going to add the pesto, about 100 grams or so of pesto, and we're going to stir this in. Stir the pesto in thoroughly, reduce the heat right down. all the way down and stir it right through and now for some chopped parsley parsley scattered all over and we're going to actually stir this in all right next comes the freshly grated parmesan please don't go getting any um, 
packs and stuff like that. You know, Parmesan is so um, is so easy um, to grate yourself. Likewise, pesto sauce. Two minute job. Link is here and on the recipe itself. Okay, there we go. We've added the Parmesan. We're going to add the dollop of um, butter. A little bit of butter in there. Stir that in. Heat it off. Cover that. Whoa, that's heavy. Let it rest for two minutes. Right. So, let's have a look at that. And that's what's been resting in there for a couple of minutes. It's all done. Now, at this stage, after it's been resting, seasoning should be perfect, um, apart from some freshly ground pepper. So let's add some pepper all over. And time to dish it up. Oops, over here. There we go. Now the amount here is perfect for about, I'd say four people or three hungry people. Now at this stage, a little bit more Parmesan and a little bit more parsley over if you like and some lemon juice if you want. So there you go. Let's have a taste of that, shall we? Mm. The rice is perfect, just the right amount of bite. I can taste the salmon, definitely. And you know, just a hint of pesto. Um, that goes so well with the parsley. Um, and the seafood stock, the fresh, uh, the fish stock wasn't, isn't overpowering at all. It's just in the background. And I used only a small amount of wine, so it, it, it's not overpowering. I'm not a huge fan of a, a great wine, a strong wine taste in my risotto. So here we go. That's how it looks like. Close up. So risotto with pesto and salmon. Easy peasy. Perfect midweek dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for brand new recipes, brand new videos on this channel. Catch you guys later. Bye.